Um, I'm going to do this video. I had another video scheduled, but I have to do this because this, whatever this guy is, is giving me a bunch of shit. Oh, let's see. What's his name? Minister of Yahweh. So this guy, this is his logo. Let's uh, let's take a look at what he has to say, because he's trying to give me some bullshit about Yahweh. I got news for you. Yahweh is the name of Saturn. Saturn is the name of Satan. That's the god of this world. Okay, he's the god of time and space. What I keep trying to tell you guys. Okay, but these guys, these Yahweh freaks, they keep saying, "Oh, Yahweh, Yah dude, Yahweh comes from the 42-letter name from the Tetragrammaton." A Tetragrammaton is a five-pointed star. A penta a penta a pentagram in a circle. Ever seen that before? Let's see what he writes. He writes, he's very thoughtful. Don't waste your time here. He clearly has no research, studies, or even 100 hours put into these topics. He bases his information off websites, not books, scrolls, or other true documents. Okay, asshole, what true documents are you using? What, the King James Bible that was written by the Vatican and the Masons? who King James was openly a, a Mason? Yahweh? You know what, stick that fucking shit right up your ass, you dumb bastard. Here, I'm gonna use some actual text to prove my point. Let's move on. Here, the Jews speak, the Jews speak Phoenician. Of course, you already knew that, because you know every fucking thing, right? The Jews speak Phoenician. They don't have their own language. Phoenicia. You ever heard of it? And they're not, they don't make blinds, asshole. So let's read it. The inhabitants of Phoenicia might at first appear to have derived their origin from the same source, pre abramite as the Hebrews, for they spoke the same language. Wow, how about that? Twink, what are you doing? Let's move on. Okay, so now we know that they speak Phoenician, yeah? Okay. But, but Yahweh's not Saturn, right? Okay, let's move on. What does this say? Um, let's go here. Um, Baal is the planet Saturn. Baal is also the devil. And the Mohammedites of the 12th century after Christ knew still that the Meccan, i.e. Israel, is one of the names given by the Phoenicians in the latter days to Saturn. Oh, I, where did I get that from a comic book? You don't talk about the truth or, or, or out of real scrolls. Jag off. Yeah, I'm swearing too. Here we go. Let's move on. Ah, between the God of the Naz, uh, Na, I can't pronounce it. Sorry, guys. And the and the God of the Apelles, there is ev evidently a close relationship, and also it appears with Yahweh, the demurge of the Old Testament, Saturn, the black star. Okay, the black star. Remember, Kabbalah is all cube and a black star. And you'll notice what I'm putting in here from the <clears throat> Converse advertisement is a cube and a black star. No, no, Yahweh isn't Saturn. No, how could you ever come up with that? Let's move on to the next bit. Yahweh's essence. Yahweh was also at an early period represented by a serpent. Oh, you mean the same one in the garden? It's not a snake, it's time, which represents Saturn. A symbol of lightning. A copper god of this sort lasted even down to the time of Hezekiah and re was reputed to have been made by Moses himself. The seraphim pictured often as surrounding Yahweh were hardly other than the serpents representing the tortoise lightning. Okay, I obviously I'd never read anything. What's this say? Uh, the astrological Saturn has always been associated with the letter of the law because Saturn is the lawgiver. That's why the men in the courts wear black robes. Uh, everybody that is an authority wears black Cops, rabbis, judges, priests, Catholic priests, SWAT, Nazis. Um, 
uh, rather than the spirit of the Gnostics. And the early Kabbalists identify Saturn with the, with the God of the Old Testament. Gee whiz, who'd have seen that coming? Whom they regarded as a tyrannical father obsessed with the rigid enforcement of the laws. And indeed, there may be very ancient symbolic link between Saturn and Yahweh. For Yahweh's Sabbath, or Holy Day, is Saturday. Saturn Day. Saturn's Day. A hole. Enough. I've had enough of this crap. Yahweh is Saturn. Saturn is Satan. He's the God of laws. He's the lawgiver. He's the one that said he's the Alpha and the Omega. The God of the Old Testament is Saturn. Case closed. Stick it up your fucking ass. Dumb fuck. Ooh, he swore. Oh, then he, then he sends me some crap about, um, you know, your eyes are blinded if you don't love your brother. Well, I got news for you, buddy. Jesus might love you, but I don't. So go bug off. You know, this is the, see, this is the thing. This is why I get so frustrated with these guys. They tell me I don't do my studies. First of all, I was raised a Lutheran. I believe in, I believe in Jesus Christ, but that doesn't mean that my language is going to change anytime soon. Second of all, I don't give a rat's ass about your satanic god, you moron. What a, what, what, a, what a bunch of clowns you are. You go worship Yahweh, asshole. You guys want to run around? Look at, go back and look at this guy's uh, logo. It's three feathers. Three is the cultic number for Earth. He's got a black lightning bolt. Huh? The lightning bolt, just like it read in there, represents Lucifer when he was cast down from heaven. Then it's in a black circle, which represents Saturn, and then it's got white inside, which represents the duality, the positive and the negative. In my opinion, this is some Masonic cocksucker trying to play a game by acting like he's an American Indian. Yeah? Well, here. Here's a word for you. Cunt. 